Is he here? Ever wonder how to update the firmware on your Sigma lens? Stay tuned. All right, so first things first. Number one, you have to have a global vision lens. Those are the ones that are fully compatible with the USB dock from Sigma. So that means you have a contemporary, an art, or a sports series lens. Number two, you need to purchase a Sigma USB dock. It's available in Canon and Nikon mount respectively, depending on which one you work with. You need to go to the Sigma website, sigmausa.com, and download the Sigma optimization software. This software is compatible for either Windows or Mac OS. Once you download it to your computer, you're going to see how easy it is to work with this software and the USB talk. All right, don't mind the readers. I need them for the small font. So you already went to the Sigma website and you downloaded the Sigma Optimization Pro software onto your computer. Now, you're going to open up the software program and we're going to install the docking station. And notice how it's checking for the latest firmware. I mean, it does it automatically, so that way your docking station is up to current status. And on the left side, you're going to notice all the different lenses that we've already maximized and updated to this firmware. So now I'm going to put a brand new lens on here. I have a 35 millimeter 1.4, one of our favorites. Again, you notice how easily it docks onto the station. Click on and notice how it's now going to recognize it. So it's checking for the latest firmware update if there is one available and it tells you to wait for the information. And there it is. There, the latest firmware update is available and it's asking you if you want to update it. So we're going to say yes. And of course it's going to want you to agree to the terms and conditions. Hit agree. And there you go. Look at how simply this is doing a firmware update to our particular lens. It's loading it onto the lens now. So again, it takes a little while. It all depends on your connection. There it is. It is now checking for the firmware update and it will give you the all go ahead. So now it tells you that the firmware update is complete and you can now disconnect the lens. But you also have the capability of doing customization. And notice how we have the customization button and you can change focusing settings and you can also change manual for full-time manual focus. So of course, if you've done a lot of changes and tweaks and you're not sure what you've done, you do have the reset all button, which will set your lens back to manufacturer's default, just as if you just took it right out of the box. Well, I hope this video showed you how easy it is to work with the Sigma USB dock. If you have any further questions or comments, don't forget to paste them in the comment section below. And subscribe to the channel. That way you have access to further frequently asked questions, tutorials, and unboxings. And as always, if you're ever in the Miami area, come by and say hello at our Digital Gojo showroom. Happy shooting.